again. With the left knee, then we're going to come into a twist. So reaching that hand to the opposite knee. Nice house bump. Good. Come back down to hands and knees. And, make sure ready. and then we'll bring that left foot forward. Into that one. So I'm Sharon Omek with Honey Creek Creamery and Stanley Snack Shack and this is our third year of offering goat yoga and we're happy to be outside in the Lust Hills and give people some relief and just enjoy the simple things. No, I've never done goat yoga. I've been practicing yoga for about eight years and usually took classes at um, Pranam in Omaha. And since moving out here, I haven't really been able to. And I saw the opportunity to come here. And I'm an avid fan of Stanley Snack Shack, which Sharon owns. And um, I think it's really great that she gives an opportunity for yoga practitioners to come out here and enjoy the space. Worth the drive from Des Moines. That <laughs> job. That was my fault. Kind of Sorry. Nice <laughs> you know, it's kind of a spring ritual. Kind of, you know, I'm always around the babies and the birthing, but I really like to share it with other people because they're so um, funny and sweet and social that it's nice to share that with other people. So walking the hands back toward the feet. Just keeping a forward fold here. Again, let your head and neck be soft. You can grab opposite elbows, just do a little sway. I did not expect to get to hold a baby goat, not let alone for this long. And it's been very, I don't know, just there's a lot of laughing and it's really nice, especially after the pandemic, to enjoy just laughter and cuddles and outdoor space with people. So I really appreciate it. Awesome. Nice big shoulder open here. Reach those fingers towards the sky. Nice strong legs. And then bring that arm back down to the mat. Bend into the left knee. And lift the right hand yep. up towards the sky. Oh, it's like sneezing. I've been waiting for that. Oh, that was cute.